with me. But I just found out that one of my friends isn't going to be able to make it, which is a huge bummer. I mean, what's the point of celebrating if your friend isn't even going to be there? Woo! Hey, Zoe, uh, looks like uh, you're trying to have a party over here, but you seem kind of sad. What happened? Oh, uh, my friend can't come to our joy party. So what's the point in celebrating? Oh, <sighs> I see. Well, maybe listening to the Bible story today will help. I guess. Maybe. Okay, <sighs> kids. Well, I found our story in this book. What's this book called? It's the Bible. You're right, Zoe. You're right, kids. It is the Bible. And if it's in the Bible, then we know it's true. 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 That right. Now, this story is from the book of Habakkuk. Oh, bless you. <gasps> no, I didn't sneeze. I said Habakkuk. Huh? That's a fun name in the Bible, right? Can you say it with me, Zoe? Habakkuk. 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 You're getting Habakkuk. it. Habakkuk. No, no. Habakkuk. Habakkuk. Good job. It sounds like I'm about to sneeze. It does sound like that, <laughs> but... <laughs> That's kind of funny, but Habakkuk was a real person who lived a long time ago. Mm -hmm. He was a prophet. A prophet. Which was, yeah, a prophet. That was someone who God talked to to help show others what to do. Now, Habakkuk lived. Bless you. No, no, I'm talking about the person. Oh, no, that's right. Yes, okay. So Habakkuk lived in a time when things were not good. Can you guys mm -hmm. give me a thumbs down? Oh, no. Yep. I don't like thumbs down. No, thumbs down. I know. The Israelites, who were God's people, weren't doing what they were supposed to be doing. Everyone oh. say, oh no. oh, no. Oh, no. That's right. They weren't living how God wanted them to live, and they weren't making good choices. Now, Zoe, what do you think Habakkuk did? He probably locked himself in his room, and he cried a whole bunch. Well, well, like that. well he could have, but he didn't. Hmm? Instead, that's right. Instead, he chose to have joy and he praised God. And then he wrote it all down so we could know all about joy right here in the Bible. But, but Miss Carla, how could he have done that? I mean, I mean, anyone can be happy, but, but how, how can you be happy when terrible things are happening? Well, joy isn't like happiness, Zoe. Hmm? You see, joy is a choice. Just joy is a choice? That's right. And we can feel lots of different things, like what you're feeling today, sadness, yeah. or maybe anger, or fear. But we can still know God's love and be filled with that on the inside, no matter what happens. <laughs> That's what can help us choose to have joy and celebrate what God is doing, because we know He always loves us, no matter what. It's a lot harder when things aren't going our way to see what God is doing, but God said that He is with us, and Zoe, that he will help us. He will? That's right. You see, our relationship with God, the fact that we can be friends with him, is what can give us joy, even when things aren't going our way, or we don't feel happy or excited, or any of those good feelings. Yeah. We can trust that God is with us and that he loves us. So, Zoe, I'm really sorry that your friend can't come to our joy party today, but you can still have joy because you can celebrate what God is doing. And you know that God loves you. Oh, you're right. Uh, it's a lot harder to celebrate because I will miss my friend. But we can still have joy. And it shouldn't take away the fun that we'll have with all of our other friends. I know that God loves us. That's right, Zoe. You know, I think now is a great time to pray. Everyone, clap your hands together. Let's bow our heads and talk to God. Dear God, thank you so much of our true story about how Habakkuk found joy even in hard times. Help Zoe to find joy today and help her friend to feel better. We love you, God. And all God's children said, Amen! Amen. Oh, Miss Carla, thanks for telling that amazing true Bible story. You're welcome. You know what? It's going to be no fun if I just sit around here being blue all day. I need to be green and go have fun with my friends. Miss Carla, do you want to join us for our joy party? I would love to. Oh, goody. Hey, let's go. All right. I'll see you guys later. Bye, kids. Bye. Let's go have fun. It's party time. A cheerful heart makes you healthy, but a broken spirit dries you up. Proverbs 17:22 Party people where you at uh. It's time to celebrate it's time to get it started the party's happening here That's right I turn up the music